Welcome to Diffie Jack and Ori, a funky kind of story. And as you look here, you see the organ. There's many a thing I see in here that does the psyche of the individual when they sit there under the roof, or the steeple, or the spire. Yeah? Now then, back in the day, we'll start off with you know, basic looks like. Just if you know, just sat there like that and you just look around and you just get these like, oh, and you wonder why you get reminded of things. Yeah. You see these bits here? And then on the other side here. And connected to it is the the dome. Yeah. Looks like the old uh, aristocrat type of wig. I'll put an example up now. The aristocrat wig. Now, you got that shape, was designed in the same period, the mindsets of the designers. You see his eye here. Okay. Bridge of his nose, his nose, his nostrils. Yeah. His jaw coming in, a slight angle. His mouth there. With the frivolities of colour. With said round bit, like a... Precious stone or something like that. Yeah? Because you look at this dark here, around the light, dark and light there. That makes it round. It's got extensions there. Because they fly, don't they, them lot? But when I said that the uh, that shape there flies, it's got extensions there. Because they fly, don't they, them lot? That's the angle of the law. Yeah? But anyway, just concentrate on that bit there. Goes around there. There. Bits up there all to do with biblical stuff and that. An intellect that doth learneth the word that speaks of control and stuff. Alright. You then have like the third eye, this forehead, this psyche, and all that lot goes up in there. Right then, now concentrate just on the black area here. Yeah, this is the owl look. The owl with the head and the one eye, big one eye type of thing going on. There's the owl, his wings. Yeah. There's his body. The soul is the music. Like the flutting of the wings at night time. Yeah, I'm talking dark here. This is why you sat there enjoying yourself, you know, you know, years back. And here we have the girth area. The groin area of the owl with his legs either side. And the branch of wealth. Yeah. And that's what we have here. There's loads of little, I'm going to picture big enough to go into what's around here too much. But these are all these subtle psyches. If, when you were sat there under the control of what was then, yeah, because they, you know, control the light and the dark, the white of the colour and the blackness of the vicar's tunic. Do you get me? So we'll go back to the picture. The gate down there, or the gate, the, like a fence. You get that at the back of Buckingham Palace. Yeah, it's the stonage of the underlining of what you then can have above with intellect, control of the light side and the dark side. If you then be aristocrat with the eye lashes that doth twinkle with the eye. And then we look at this bit here. Yeah, I'll just blow it up a bit. I might just get in a little bit. Right, here we go. Now you see here, yeah, you see, like the eyes there of another owl. Because the hidden is the hidden, and they pass on through time from one to the other. The link between one and the other. By passing knowledge on by through. The light side and the dark side. Freemasonry through to nature and the things that make you go boo, said the owl, because you can see the colour and the beak there with its white feathering. Just like a vicar or a priest.
or a folk. So when you look at this area here, when you sat down, these guys who are giving you the sermon belong to these guys here, belong to this bigger guy here, belongs to all this up here, that then is encapsulated into the aristocracy at the top there. But you can sit back, you can see the owl there, the beak, and there's the dress, just like the bishops and such like, on the platform of wealth. Yeah. Even that bit there, let's look at that bit. I was sat back from a distance. Yeah, that looks like his base feet. He took one four claws coming out, that type of thing. And his, his feet are up together as though he's sitting there on a branch. Yeah, there's his feathering coming down here slightly. Basically, there's his two, two claws, two claws either foot. And his feathering. And there's, the, there's his shape there, coming in. There's his collar, there's the collar. And there, and there is the owl's head. It's the power of manipulation through your fear, through your senses, all what you've had taken away over centuries and centuries and manipulated out of and fear driven out of. You can get back if these people pack it in and do their jobs properly. We all know they don't, don't we? Yeah? The manipulation. It's all going on now, isn't it, in today's world? Yeah. I wouldn't mess about. I wouldn't mess about if I was in the order. Because if those people have forgotten what things are, then they too are on the wrong side, isn't it? Because they can't be doing a very good job, can they? Because there's a lot of things going on that we all know shouldn't be going on. The eyes, the eyelid, the eyebrow, the eyelash, eyebrow, there's the eyelashes down there. There's a round bit of the hair, there's the top of the head going round. There's the other round bit, there's other knowledge that Mr and Mrs Smith back in the day did not know. We all know that, don't we? I mean, I'm talking hundreds of years, hundreds of years before proper schooling came about. Apart from some. Roger Bacon, friar, Roger Bacon knows what I mean. As part of a team, they invented the lens, the spectacle lens, the lens, the sunglasses lens, any lens type of lens. Even the Illuminati have to use. Did you get me? And when these people forget where stuff comes from because they modern world get together with their techno stuff of communications and they start rubbing out what made us all. Messing about with people's beliefs, senses and such like. Very long, that grey area of control, where they can encapsulate you with fear, lies, yeah? All done because we've all got media connecting, creating a new grey area, done by blackmail, perversions and disgust. But they blackmail each other into a pact, no different than years before in different formats. Even these things down here and there, look. They've got two eyes. Skeleton type of skull, isn't it? I'm not putting it very bluntly. This is what's in the Vatican. Yeah, very friendly looking, isn't it? Yeah, it's all very, very dark and demonic, by the way. Because, I'll show you pictures later on. This bit up here, and the shape of the place itself, is in the form of a serpent's head. Welcome to the Serpent Society. You may know it as the Vatican. Like I said, scales, there's the eyes. Yeah, little nostrils probably, little nostrils there, fangs, yeah, it's all going on in it everybody. So, this is all rather negative isn't it, yeah, all coming up from the dark, yeah, looking down on the Pope as he talks to the rest of it. So basically this dude here in white, yeah, with all this demonic stuff going on, which to say is Jesus, and all that sort of stuff, but give us a break, yeah, real good feel, good factor in it, yeah, around serpent heads and all that lot, you know, looking down at him in a manner of, listen to this guy, yeah. Listen to this, everybody, everybody, listen to this guy here. Yeah. And then when you look at the cathedral and how they are with the Freemasonic owl and such like, it goes on and on and on. These people have been in control of the dark side of your psyche and the light side of your psyche 
and built a system around it so it envelopes you all in what they control. Like I say, get on with life, but don't screw kids. Yeah, it's one here, like the Vatican worship the serpent. Yeah, there's the eyes of the serpent, the scales, it's all there. Yeah, so, you know, there's a few things you look like at here. But there it is, anyway. Can you see it? The eyes, there's the scales, the head. Yeah, and by the way, all that other stuff's around here. You know, that stuff that comes out of the ground. Because that's how they plant their things everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a good and a bad side. It should be good, should it not? You shouldn't get the blinking Archbishop of Canterbury saying to the educational system, by the way, kids should be more adventurous in sex. That is a wave of psyche that is giving, like, the key to a Pandora's box. It should not be opened. Ye dirty bastard. <laughs>